Hello, this is Andrew, and this video is about how to add Iris Zigbee motion sensors to your Hubitat home automation controller. Um, for those not familiar with the Iris brand, it was created by Lowe's. It's a proprietary Zigbee uh, home automation uh, ecosystem. It didn't sell well, so Lowe's stopped selling it. And the upside to DIY folk is that these sensors can be had for incredibly cheap prices. I grabbed a ton of them off of eBay for a little over $5 per sensor. And once you have them in Hubitat, they work just like any other motion sensor. Uh, they do expose motion and temperature. Um, some other most motion sensors expose motion temperature and light. And, so just note that these don't do light, they just do motion and, and temperature. Um, there is a little bit of a trick to it to get them in there, uh, but it's just a little bit, a little trick. So that's what we're gonna show here, but once it's in there, it works exactly like any other motion sensor would in Hubitat, use it in your rules exactly the same way. So I'm not gonna cover that, I'm just gonna cover the adding part. Um, so go to the add device section of your Hubitat home automation controller, and here's the trick. You want to hit Zigbee, even though it says Iris, or there is an option for Iris V1 Zigbee. You don't want that one unless you, you know absolutely that you are using a V1 Iris device. The sensors that I got are the 3326-L sensors, and most of the sensors that I saw on eBay uh, they were all the standard or the regular Zigbee kind, so do not use the Iris V1 Zigbee. Use Zigbee, and once you do that, you just pop the um, battery in, and the device, assuming that it hasn't been paired before, should just show up in your network or in the um, found devices list, and you you can name it and save it, and then go through and add the um, device to uh, a motion roll. This took me way longer than it should have to figure it out. Uh, so hopefully this saved you some time. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you know, just drop them down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.